Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Riff Hiker Outdoors and today I'm making a video to tell you how I got in shape for my upcoming elk trip. So stick around. Alright guys, so you might have noticed that I said got in shape and that's because uh, I am already in the shape that I need to be in for this elk hunt. Um, and I know that because I recently went to Colorado and I went to the elevation, I scouted the land that I'd be hunting in, and I had a 25, 30 pound pack, and uh, I did 18 miles that day scouting. Uh, a lot of it pretty high pace, trying to get to and from places and then checking them out. And uh, <clears throat> I was fine. I had no issues at all at the end of the day. I felt like I could do it again. Um, I had no problems, no soreness, uh, and I wasn't sucking wind. I was completely fine, even at the altitude. So that's how I know. So <clears throat> I'm not just talking out of my rear end here. I know what it took for me to get in that kind of shape. And so that's what I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, now, a lot of you know from other, other videos that I, uh, I did the keto diet. I lost a ton of weight. So it's going to be my first tip. Shed any extra weight that you have on your body um, before you go on a big hunt. And you know what, this applies to hunting or hiking as well. If you're going on big hikes, shed excess weight because everyone, uh, I always, I always got rid of all the extra stuff in my pack uh, for hiking and stuff I didn't need because it was unnecessary weight and it just slows you down. And you don't need it. Same is true uh, for your body. So get rid of any extra weight. If uh, you've been struggling to lose weight, check out the keto diet really worked for me. Um, shed a lot of, lot of weight, almost 40 pounds. So um, go ahead and check that out. I've got other videos. Uh, you can check them out on my channel about food and all that stuff. So anyway, lose the extra weight. Number two, start really early. Um, when I decided I wanted to go on this trip, um, I started training really early. I started training in uh, the end of January. So, <clears throat> you know, because I didn't want to be that last minute guy and then hurt myself because I've tried to do that for big hikes and I always ended up hurting something or not performing the way I wanted to. So I started running um, <clears throat> and that's how it started. Then I lost a lot of the weight and I really got serious about walking with a heavy pack on um, just to get my body used to it. So I trained with a pack that's about 76 pounds and I'm going to cut in some footage uh, of me doing some of the exercises that I do, namely... Um, the best ones to do that I've found, I do a bunch of squats and I do a bunch of lunges with my pack on. Um, I'll also do push-ups with my pack on to strengthen my core. Um, and sometimes I'll just kind of do um, almost like a good morning, but just with the pack. You know, I'm just bending at the waist and going very slowly and kind of strengthening my lower back. Um, I also do core uh, muscle workouts in the gym along with bench and shoulder and pulls and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I do upper body workouts in the gym. I run on the treadmill in the gym when I get a chance. <clears throat> and, uh, or excuse me, I run when I don't get a chance to either hike with a heavy pack or do all my squats and stuff like that. When I do squats with the pack, I'm doing at least 100. Um, not all in a row. I'm doing sets of usually 20. Um, and when I do lunges, I try to do at least a hundred of them as well. And you do that with the pack on, it's really gonna, it's gonna help you a lot. You're really, your, your legs will get so much stronger. Your core will get a lot stronger. It's going to strengthen your back and, and all your stabilizing muscles. Um, but for elk hunting, you really want to be overall fit. You don't want to be, you don't want to excel in any one area. You want your entire body to be fit, um, and strong and ready um, because it, you know, packing out a heavy animal or hiking or climbing over deadfall and going off trail is a full body workout. So, um, with that in mind, when you hike, when you train, you should try to do a bunch of stuff climbing over logs. You should do stuff off trail, uh, on uneven ground. You should try to side hill. You should do all these things that you might encounter while you're hunting for elk. And I had to do all those things while I was scouting. I went through a bunch of uh, blowdown. I went through a bunch of deadfall. I went through a bunch of, you know, tangled mess. Um, 
I did some side hilling. Do that kind of stuff. Do what's going to, um, what you're going to encounter in the field. And really you should be training as close to how you're going to hunt as possible. Um, so that's why I don't do a ton of running because I don't really plan on having to run much when I hunt elk. Um, I want the, the stamina. Now, <clears throat> I normally hike three to four miles with uh, my, my pack, okay? Um, on my off days, I do all the squats and that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> let's look at a typical week. Um, it's, I really do Tuesday through Saturday because Monday mornings are just tough because my schedule. Um, I try to do Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday, I'm going to do four miles with the pack. Then I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to do chest and triceps. <clears throat> Wednesday, I'm going to do three to four miles with the pack. I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to do shoulders, back, and biceps. Um, and I, I always do a little bit of core, uh, some abs and some lower back stuff at the end of every workout. So that's like four or five days a week. Um, and then <clears throat> on, uh, on Thursday, it's kind of like my midday. Uh, I, I might not go to the gym. I might just do, um, all my squats and I'll do like alternate with the squats and the push-ups and the lunges uh, and probably do some pull-ups too. Um, pull-ups I don't do with the pack yet. That's just body weight. Uh, Friday is going to be the same as Monday. And Saturday is going to be the same as, uh, or excuse me, Tuesday. And then Saturday is going to be the same as Wednesday. So I'm just, I'm doing two workouts. Then my middle day is, you know, just the squats and all that stuff. And then this, those same two workouts, same groups. I'll change up the workouts, but it'll be the same walk and the same muscle groups. So that's like a typical week of training for me. Um, sometimes I'll get to walk on Monday morning for a short while, maybe a quick two mile walk and I'll, I'll bust it out as fast as I possibly can. I generally don't do anything on Sundays. That's, that's my day of rest. Um, <clears throat> but that's like a typical week for me and it really, really, really helps. Now, if I'm tight on time and I can't get to the walk and I can only have time for the gym or whatever, that's when I'm going to run. If I'm really tight on time, I'll run two miles, takes me about 16 minutes. Um, and then I can go right into the workout. It's, it's not a 45 minute to an hour long walk. So there's that. Um, trying to think of what else. Um, obviously I'm eating healthy. You guys know I'm on the keto diet, so there's more information about that, but that's what training looks like for me. Um, Core, quads, uh, glutes, hamstrings, um, you know, that those are going to be your most important things, followed by probably shoulders. Um, you know, you, you want your upper back and your shoulders to be strong because you're doing a lot of pulling and lifting and loading and stuff like that. So you want to do that stuff. Um, check out ruck workouts. They're um, basically just workouts with your backpack where you're going to do squats and then you might lay on your back and kind of <clears throat> press your your pack and th they've got all these different things overhead lifts um but it's getting used to handling the weight of that pack um and i train with more weight than i'm going to hunt with because uh, i'm training to pack meat out i want to be ready for the pack out and i want the rest of my hunting to be an absolute breeze so when i'm looking for the animals when i'm moving to them, when I'm putting a stock on, when I'm doing all this stuff for the elk, I want that. I want, I don't even want to notice the pack. You know what I mean? Between my rifle and on all the hunting gear I'm going to have with me, I don't even want to know it's there. I want it to be completely effortless. And then I want packing the meat out to feel like my training. And then I know I can crush it. You know, I know I can go four miles with 75 pounds on my back in just over an hour and be fine and finish out my day like nothing ever happened and not be sore. So I know that when I've got to make three or four trips with at least that weight on my back, um, that I'm going to be fine, that I'm going to finish it. I'm going to be sore. I'm going to be probably hurting, but I'll get it done. I'll be able to finish. So that's kind of how I got in shape for that. And, um, I know I said I'm in shape already. You can always be in better shape. So 
I'm still planning on losing a little weight before then, and I'm going to continue uh, my endurance training. And last thing, make sure you sprinkle in a couple of really big hikes here and there to kind of gauge how you're doing. Do one in the beginning of your training, do one in the middle, do one when you're getting closer. I've done a couple different 18 mile days. One was scouting, one was up in the high peaks in the Adirondacks with about 30, 35 pounds on my back. Both times I did great. I felt great. My knees weren't sore, my ankles weren't sore, my back wasn't sore. My legs weren't even sore the next day. Um, after in the Adirondacks, it was 18 miles and um, about 11,000 total feet of elevation loss and gain. So a lot of hills, a lot of up and down, a lot of steep stuff. My calves were a little bit sore the next day and that was it. So that's why I know that my fitness routine is paying off. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope this helps. This is a this is kind of stuff that can get you in shape for pretty much any anything that you want to do. Sheep hunting, double everything. Um, from what I understand, that's that's about the most physically challenging there is. So, but anyway, um, I do appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this, if it helped you in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check out the links below. I'm gonna have some gear and some food and all that kind of stuff in my in my Amazon store. So check that stuff out. Um, Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Okay, video's over. Wanted to do my encouraging word. And, uh, you know, the scripture that pops into my mind is, is uh, don't be weary in well-doing, for, uh, for you will reap in due season. So I want to encourage you guys, sometimes training for anything, whether it be school, whether it be for a hunt, whether it be for ministry or anything like that, um, can really feel monotonous and get old and like, man, is, is this ever going to end? Um, if you're doing something good, keep doing it. Don't, don't be weary. Keep pushing. Keep going for it. Um, because, you know, there is a biblical law of reaping and sowing. And you will reap if you continue to sow. If you, the Bible says we'll reap if we faint not. So um, don't, don't give up because the reward is coming. Um, and you just need to stick to it. You know, don't, don't get 20 yards from the finish line and quit because you can't see the finish line. Just understand that you'll get there at some point and it'll all be worth it. So hope that encourages you guys. Maybe you're struggling with your faith. Keep going. Maybe you're struggling in school. Keep going. Maybe you're struggling at work. Maybe you're struggling with all these different things. Maybe you're just training to get somewhere. You'll get there. Just keep going. Don't give up. That's the difference between the people that succeed and the people that fail um, is, is whether they quit or not. It um, doesn't have a whole lot to do with talent or in anything like that. It's really the people that won't give up are the ones that are going to succeed. So anyway, guys, hope that blessed somebody. God bless you. As always, I will catch you next time.